Welcome to Data Doctor's Video, Suggestion 585, Find a Grave, Multiple Profiles Linked to Same Grave ID. This index lists beginning times of each segment, so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. Suggestion 585 is caused when one or more profiles with similar name, dates, and places are all linked to the same Find a Grave memorial that has matching data. It could either be from an unrelated profile's data mistakenly based on the Find a Grave information, from duplicate profiles that need to be merged, or from one of the profiles, such as for a relative with similar data, incorrectly linked to Find a Grave. One needs to be a detective to untangle the correct information from the wrong. This segment discusses what to do if an unrelated profile has been incorrectly linked to the Find a Grave Memorial. Here is the suggestion report for Joseph Hegeman, which shows another profile with the same Find a Grave link. The birth and death dates agree. The only difference is the spelling of the last name. The info column states only to compare. Click on Compare. This takes you to Comparing Branches on Wikitree Plus. This gives a generational comparison of the profile person, making it easy to see relatives who also might need their profiles merged. However, it does not compare the biographies. That is done in Wikitree. To get there, click on the first link. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison. Hageman 36 shows a daughter, Catherine. Hageman 225 shows a father, Rem, and son, Jeremiah. The date of birth and date of death are identical. For Hageman 36, the biography section lists Find a Grave as the source, though there is an ancestry family tree listed under C also. Hover over Catherine's name until an info box appears. It shows that she was born in 1786 in North Carolina. Now look at Hegeman 225. In the biography section, there is a baptismal record for his son and a source from Find a Grave. Hover over Jeremiah's name until his info box appears. That shows he was born in 1786, the same year as Catherine, but in New York. In the Sources section, click on the link to find a grave. The memorial names his father, Rem, and has links for his wife and some children, though none of the children are for Catherine, listed with Hageman 36, or Jeremiah for Hageman 225. A close-up of the headstone photo shows the name spelled H-E-G-E-M-A-N. The conflict with Catherine and Jeremiah's births means that research is needed to see if the profiles represent the same person. On Hegeman 225, click on Root Search on the right. Root Search offers several sites to choose from. Let's start with Family Search. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. There is one birth record listed. Click on the icon on the far right. On the record, click on Document Information. Copy the source citation that appears. Return to Hegeman 225's profile and click Edit. In the Biography section, Enter the birth year in the first sentence that lists his parents. Place the cursor at the end of the text and click the citation button above. Paste the source between the ref tags. Name the tag birth. Replace the find a grave tags by the name and birth information with this one. Don't forget to add the forward slash at the end of the tag. Add a Research Notes subheading. Tell that his last name at birth was spelled Hegeman with two E's, but during his life 
Other documents show Hegemon with one E. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the Biography and Sources sections. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor and explain what I changed. Normally, I would also add the suggestion name and number, but in this instance, I am only adding documentation not directly related to a suggestion. Save your work. Now, in researching Hagman 36, there is an abstract of his will on ancestry, proved October 1, 1792, the date by which he had died. It is clear these two profiles represent two different people. The Find a Grave link needs to be removed from Hageman 36. On Hageman 36, click Edit. In the Data section, delete the date of birth. Since the date was originally marked as certain, mark it as uncertain. Change the date of death to 1792. Mark it as uncertain. Add New Jersey as the place of death based on the will and mark it as uncertain. In the biography section, delete the burial information and the find a grave record. Add information about the will. Create the inline citation. As before, click on preview to check your work. Explain your changes and save your work. Return to the Suggestions Report and on the far right click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, Corrected. Leave a comment from the commentants or make one of your own. I made one of my own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. This segment discusses what to do if the profiles need merged. Here is the suggestion report for Fly78, which shows one suggestion, 585. All the dates are the same, but the spelling of her current last name is different. The info column says compare. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two profiles on Wikitree, not Wikitree Plus. Fly78 shows both parents and lists a place of birth and death. It also shows her husband and marriage information. Fly226 shows only one parent, her father. While the dates of birth and death agree with the other profile, there are no places listed, nor is a husband shown. There is, however, a daughter, Birdie, listed. You can see in the list of siblings that each one has a half-sister also named Mary. That is because these two profiles are linked to the same father, Boone Fly. Now, read the biography section. Fly226 has a source for her marriage to Henry Langberger. There is also a census record showing Bertie as her daughter. They both have the same 1900 census record. It's certain that these profiles need merged, but first, the spelling of the current last name needs to be determined. Click on the Find a Grave link. The memorial has her name spelled as line B-E-R-G-E-R. -E there is a photo of the headstone showing that the last name is spelled with an E as well, which matches the marriage record. It's time to propose a merge. Return to the comparison screen. At the top, click on Merge Them. 
These profiles have already been approved for a merge. Be sure you are merging the highest ID into the lowest. Then check for the correct information with parents, name, and birth and death. The only thing to change is her current last name. Combine the biographies so that it reads smoothly. Delete duplicate 1900 census and find a grave sources. Preview the work. Click Confirm Merge. The next screen shows the merged profile. Notice the half-sister Mary is gone. Go to the edit page and explain your changes. Next, check the daughter Bertie's profile to see if her father is listed as he wasn't when she was attached to Fly 226. He isn't. Make a note that his profile ID is Lineberger 10. Click Edit on her profile. On the right, click on Add Father. In the existing Wikitree profile box, add his ID and click Go. Her profile now shows both her parents. Return to the Suggestions report and on the far right, click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, choose a status, leave a comment, and click Update Status. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. Please note, if there had not been an approved merge, as there was here, after proposing the merge, check back in 30 days to see the status. From your watch list page, in the top middle, click on Pending Merges. On the next screen, click on Pending Merges Initiated by Me. If it hasn't already been merged, rejected, or set as an unmerged match, it will be there. You can complete the merge at that time. For now, though, on the Suggestion Status Report, you would check the status Proposed Merge. This segment discusses relatives with similar data, both of whom are linked to the same Find a Grave Memorial, but one of them is wrong. Here is the Suggestion Report for Charles Guthrie Fillingham, showing three suggestions, all concerning Find a Grave. 585, 575, and 578. They also involve the profile of Charles Foster Fillingham. In the Info column, click on Compare. In Wikitree, not Wikitree Plus, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two profiles. Looking at the relatives, it is clear that Charles Guthrie is Charles Foster Fillingham's son. Click on the Find a Grave link. The memorial is for the father, Charles Foster Fillingham. Go to Charles Guthrie Fillingham's profile and click on Edit. Create a subheading, See Also. Replace the current link with the full Find a Grave source found on the memorial. Add the Wikitree Find a Grave template with the addition of same as equals no to indicate this profile does not match the memorial. Delete the first URL. As always, click on Preview to check your work. Explain your changes. In this case, there are three suggestions to note. Save your work. Return to the Suggestion Report and click Status. On the Suggestion Status page, check the status Corrected. Be sure to check the related Suggestions boxes, since they have also been addressed. Leave a comment and click the Update Status button. The status history lets you know the changes have been saved. And you're done. 
you are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.